What's going on, everybody? Vince Goodrum here. It is Tuesday morning. Uh, just in the office chilling, getting everything finished. Uh, gonna go work out, and then I'm gonna go head to brunch. Uh, but I wanted to make this video today in order to once again uh, respond to a very, uh, what I consider annoying and snobbish character by the name of this complicated. And Yes, I am once again discussing watches, but hey, give me some slack, folks. We've been discussing a lot of bodybuilding and fitness issues. You know, Jay Masters tearing his quadriceps. You know, Jerry Ward up there talking smack about Robbie Robinson. And eventually, I'm probably going to end up making a separate channel uh, just to exclusively discuss watches. So that way, you know... Uh, I keep the channel clean as far as bodybuilding comp, uh, comedy and watches and maybe even a finance uh, channel as well. But we shall see. But in any event, you know, me and him have been going back and forth for the past month or two. He's even called me out on a couple videos. But the reason why I wanted to make this video today is because he's been spinning this very false narrative and this is from one of his recent videos about these Rolex 80 list and that it, you have to literally uh, jump through hoops and have an established relationship with Rolex dealers in order to get certain timepieces. And that is completely a load of bullshit. And it just speaks to that old watch snobbery stuff that, you know, that people just absolutely hate about you know, uh, watch manufacturers and watch collectors because it just puts them in that category of snobs. Uh, let me tell you something here, and I'm going to explain it to you again. It's complicated, and I'm going to explain it to all the rest of you watch snobs out here. If you go into any watch dealership and you bring cash money, $30,000, $50,000, and $100,000, you walk up to that dealer, you take that cash, you slam it down on the table, well not slam it, just put it down casually, and you tell them that I want this certain watch, I guarantee that they're either going to go to their safe and get the watch, or they will have it to you within 24 hours, period. Money talks and bullshit walks, and when it comes to watches, there is no watch dealer that is stupid enough in order to pass up on having $50,000 staring in their face. That's just not going to happen. And here's the reason being there. You know, a long time ago, the list would have been relevant there because there was not much of a saturation in market in terms of watches. Watches were still timepieces. But now there is an oversaturation. A lot of these watch dealers are literally getting clogged up with excess inventory and this is not just Rolex this is just a lot of different brands there they're literally stocked up they're almost like Avon ladies with a garage full of watches that they simply cannot sell the manufacturers are making a ton of money but these authorized dealers man they're getting screwed and I've spoken with a couple of watch dealers they're not going to get on camera with me there and go and explain and address their frustrations because they don't want to lose their account. But the fact of the matter is, everyone I've spoken with there within the past month or so, they're trying to get rid of 2018, 2017, uh, 2016 inventory just in order to get in the 2019 inventory that they have to take on. And the problem with stuff like this is... Uh, that you end up with these dealers becoming gray market dealers and they'll go on Amazon, they'll go on eBay and you'll see these watches at 35%, 50% discount and that simply degrades the value of the actual timepiece. And this is all caused by you know watch manufacturers getting too greedy and eventually it's going to catch up and a lot of these I mean and the thing about it is is once the authorized dealers go out of business and go broke, that's going to be pretty much the end of an era. You know, and Rolex will subsequently have to sell in house or set up their own stores or they'll have to do something else. A lot of these, uh, and I'm not, like I said again, 
I don't mean to bring up Rolex too much there, but you know, just about all the watch dealer, watch manufacturers are doing it there. You know, it, it's a, a sad situation where you're getting stuff with inventory that you simply can't sell, and you can't choose out the pieces that you want. And that's another thing. A lot of these authorized dealers can't get the pieces that they want. Uh, they have to start out with the basic set. And they got to sell their eco line before they have access to the actual real line. And when you're trying to build a business and you have people walking in wanting the exclusive pieces, you know, you have to unfortunately turn away business or you have to go and cut a side deal with somebody else there in order to get yourself a little bit of money. And that's also not fair as well. But hey, that's not my problem. That's, you know, authorized dealers' problems here. But, you know, when it comes to it's complicated there you know it's this I just don't seem to get to see why he is such a quintessential snob because he can't afford the watches that he actually has he had to go and trade in his watch on his last video why do you need to trade in a watch there you keep the watch that's what being a watch collector is all about you don't have to trade in your watches that tells me that you can't afford the stuff that you actually got period there's no need to actually trade watches if you're a watch collector. If you cannot afford the watch, you shouldn't have it. And you shouldn't be trying to trade with other people for other watches because what you can end up with is getting screwed. There's a lot of people that will trade watches because they know that their parts are uncertified. It's been Frankenstein. It's been uh, mixed and matched with all the other sorts of stuff. It doesn't have the proper papers. I'm sure he's smart enough to figure that out there, but at the same time, you just run into these types of situations. But in order to be a watch collector, you've got to collect watches. I mean, I can understand if he had three or four hundred Rolexes there to where he would trade, but, you know, I, I doubt he only has, like, maybe one or two watches here. I could be wrong there. But at the same time, he obviously doesn't dress like he can afford the watches here. And here's the thing about watches. Me, I got an... Invicta Pro Diver Scuba. It's a very nice watch. But you know what? This watch cannot open any more doors at, in, any, in any fine establishments than a Rolex. Now we have a place out here called the Coin Set Club. You know, it's a $2,500 membership. Very expensive per month there. And the fact of the matter is... A person with a Rolex still couldn't get in if they can't afford uh, the membership. The same with any uh, golf club. I mean, excuse me, any golf clubs or even yachting or boating clubs. And that's just a fact. You can own a Rolex, but you're not going to be golfing or fishing with the most wealthiest people. And the fact of the matter is, wealthy people are not even really buying Rolexes anymore. Just old wealthy people. You know, a lot of them have moved over to different brands. There's Patox, there's a, uh, there's a couple of strange brands that are like a million dollars. I think they're ugly watches, but it is what it is. Not only that, there's this oversaturation in the market. A lot of people are buying smart watches nowadays. So that's cut down on the, uh, the number of uh, customer base that you have that's going to still buy you know, a nice timepiece. And that's what this complicated needs to figure out. There is a less of a customer base that's going to buy it, so there's no reason that a watch dealer is going to turn away perfectly good business, you idiot. Now, you may know a little bit about watches. I know a lot about customer service there. And it dictates is if someone wants a product, I'm going to do my damnedest in order to get it to them. Otherwise, if I don't get them the product, I'll go somewhere else or I'll get another brand of watch. But, you know, my whole point, and I'm just going to go ahead and summarize because I'm not going to spend all day talking about it's constipated. My whole point to you is Rolex ain't shit. Invicta runs the pound. Seiko runs the pound. Timex runs the pound. Casio runs the pound. Rolex, it's too expensive and yet too cheap. The wealthy don't want it because now middle class people have access to it. 
that's a fact there. So you have a quasi-luxury watch. Yes, they're still desirable. Rolex still has an excellent history. I can always still make money off Rolex watches. I'll go and buy an Air King any day for a thousand, and I'll push it out for two thousand whenever they do come available. So I'm not knocking the brand Rolex there. I'm just knocking, you know, the day and age. Even though it has a colorful history, it's 2019, motherfucker. Those days are over with as far as these AD lists are concerned because they really don't exist. If they exist for some of these watch dealers, they're crazy. They're going to end up driving themselves out of business or someone's going to walk in, you're going to refuse business, and if they're Chinese, if they're Indian, if they're black, if they're gay, if they're lesbian, they'll accuse you of racism, sexism, or other isms. Then you're out of business anyway. Does that make any sense? I think you're beginning to get my point now, and I think a lot of you guys are getting my point as well. The sad fact is, is that you need to come down from your high horse and start talking like a normal person because you are not wealthy. You're just a common man, just like me, just like Dusty Rose, just like Fat Cat, just like everybody else. And you can do a live stream with two old guys talking all you want about Rolex, but it doesn't change your personal position in life. And ultimately, yeah, I am that big bodybuilder. And I do place a value on a lot of things. I got 1,200 count Egyptian sheets. I have a Cadillac and a Mercedes parked outside my home. I have Bose stereo equipment all over. My caddy has Bose equipment. I got Bose home theater equipment. I have Bose outside equipment. That's what I used to sell when I was a salesperson at Montgomery Ward. I love Bose. So it's, I'm not saying that I'm a fan of quality. I love high quality products, but I base my quality on things that I most commonly use. I sleep in the bed every single night. Having 1200 count sheets is very comfortable. I wear a merino wool sweater because they're very comfortable, they're breathable, and I can wear them in the winter as well as the summer. I like bows because I turn on the TV and I like watching a good movie or listening to some nice jazz music. I put value in things that I most commonly use. But when it comes to watches, that's a little bit different. You keep crying about getting a Batman watch or a Kermit or a Pepsi. I'm sorry, but Rolex doesn't make a, a Batman watch. But Invicta has a certified uh, Batman watch from DC Comics that's licensed. Uh, Rolex doesn't make a Kermit watch. They don't make a Hulk watch. But Invicta does. They have a licensed deal uh, with DC and Marvel Comics to have a real Hulk watch and a legitimate Kermit watch. And as far as Pepsi is concerned, fuck Pepsi. I drink Coke, and I used to do a little bit back in the day, a long time ago, but uh, that's another story there, you know. Fact of the matter is, and, you know, I can joke all you want about uh, watches, and I can go and tear you a new one, and I can dig up into you, uh, but you need to come off your high horse and get more in touch with reality, because the reality is... There's no more AD list. There's no more exclusivity. Because with the right amount of money, you can get any watch at any time. There's not a damn thing any of these dealers can do about it. Because Lord knows, if the dealers don't want to sell it, I guarantee somebody will sell it. That's just the law of supply and demand. If you've got enough cash, you can get that ass. And that's all i got to say today on this, people. Guys... Fuck Rolex, fuck all these other high luxury brands if you are in the middle class. If you're a regular man or a woman and you're trying to pay your bills, you're trying to take care of your children and you still want a nice watch, get an Invicta. Get one, get two. And stay on budget. But if you like this channel, well, God damn it, you love this channel. Like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel. Again, like and subscribe to the Vince Goodrum channel.